Tonight, reaction is pouring in after 8 News obtained body cam video of the moments before Chesterfield police opened fire on a mentally ill man holding a hatchet. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. Police shot Charles Byers nearly a year ago, and now that the public has had a chance to see what happened, the family's attorney is chiming in. 8 News reporter Jamal Williams joins us live in studio after speaking to that attorney. And Jamal, the family has wanted this. They've wanted the public to be able to see this and weigh in. Deanna, Eric, that is right. But before we look at this video, it's important I bring you up to speed on how we got here. On July 8, 2023, officers were called to North Chesterfield on Maple Thorpe Road, just half a mile from Byers' address. They opened fire after he failed to put down his hatchet in his hand. An investigation found the officers were justified, but the Byers family disagrees after seeing the video. A warning, we're showing you a good portion of that video unedited, and while we are not showing you the shooting on camera, what you may see and hear may still be disturbing. Hey, drop that now! Do it now! Drop it! Do it now! Come on, boy. Put the axe down. Go ahead, Taser. The moments when two Chesterfield officers arrived on the scene, attempting to tell Charles Byers to put the weapon in his hand down. For context, authorities say they got a call from a neighbor saying Byers tried breaking into her home with a hatchet, then trying breaking into another neighbor's home before going to a third person's garage. Byers, who suffered from schizoaffective disorder, had just been released from Chippenham Hospital after being admitted for a mental health crisis. After the first officer's attempts to stun Byers with a taser didn't work, five shots were fired from the second officer at Byers and two more as he tried running away. Byers eventually drops the hatchet and falls to the ground. He died at the scene. On April 2nd, Chesterfield police released a statement saying the Commonwealth's attorney found that, quote, the actions and use of force of the Chesterfield County officers were justified in the response to the actions of Mr. Byers. Paul Curley, the Byers family's attorney, isn't buying it. They all failed, Charles. Um, it's a systemic failure, and it's that failure that the parents are very, very interested in addressing. More than anything else, the parents want some change that results in this not happening to someone else in the future. Byers' family filed a $35 million lawsuit against the hospital and the city of Richmond, alleging he was released from the hospital and later the Richmond City Justice Center unlawfully, having been placed under a temporary detention order. Dana Schrod with the Virginia Association of Chiefs of Police says, many factors go into determining whether or not officers acted appropriately. The body camera is just one piece of evidence, it's not the whole story. Had the individual already done something violent so that the officers were, had to assess whether or not this person would then continue to take violent action? Was the individual actively resisting arrest or actively trying to, to flee arrest? Was the individual posing an immediate threat to either himself, to others? The family's next court appearance will be a settlement conference on July 12th with a trial date set for December 9th. For all details, you can head to our website, WRIC.com. Live in the studio, Jamal Williams, 8 News.